It has everything. Bumping and banging. <laughs> Big boys Big neighborhood. Boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I would have to say that it's a pleasure to have this dude in the neighborhood. This is our first sit down in the neighborhood, man. Gary oh. Owen in the neighborhood. Gary, welcome to the show, man. What's up, man? What's Maintain. up, Gary? You, you've lived in my TV for years. Mm. You've lived on screen with me for years. So to have nice. you in the neighborhood, man, welcome to the neighborhood, bro. I appreciate it. I'm a, I'm a, I don't live in L.A. anymore, but I'm a longtime listener. Thank and you, you guys brother. have had that bell for a while. Yes. You know somebody's I'm important. Yeah, That's when I knew I've arrived. Yeah. You rang the bell <laughs> like, when you like said my everything name. Everything you've done, Gary, in yeah. your career, <laughs> getting here, <laughs> yep. this is it, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Either made getting it. here is you made it or you're hustling backwards. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when I when, now you're national now, which yes. is cool, man. It's, it, honestly, I kept waiting when. When they kept doing all these morning shows and it kept getting syndicated, yeah. I, I knew it was a matter of time. Yeah, I was yeah. like, there's no way because when I lived in L.A., <laughs> but you know that what, was man? it. I love the local thing, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like I don't, I don't want to be a guy that, that detach or anything like that. You know, I, I got to be home plate because I still can walk around and get beat up. Yeah. You know what nah, I'm saying? Man, let, that, let that feeling let go. Let that ass whooping let go. Let that feeling go. Oh, let that feeling go. I thought you were saying, man, big, that would go that with your ass, man. No, I'm just kidding. What do you think, Gary, is your staying power, bro? Because... I know early on in in the days, man, I would see you on BET and in every black movie that we have out there. I mean, you <laughs> take my work. You know what I'm saying? But, but what does that stay in power, bro? I don't know. You know, I, I learned a long time ago. I just try to get people to like me. Right. And if they like you, the light turns into love, and then they care about you. And then they stay with you no matter what you do. Yeah, well, yeah, that is true no matter what you do because we see it. You There's know a what lot saying? of forgiveness in this world. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> I don't even want to start naming names. And stuff. You, you know, yeah. y'all, y'all fill in your own blanks. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But yeah, yeah and, and that's what people say, man. When you do something crazy, all you got to do is continue. Just win. Yeah. And we forget. And you own it. Yeah. When you make a mistake, own it. I'm going to tell you straight up, Gary Owen, I'm not owning nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even own the house I live in. So if I don't own the house I live in, Gary, I'm definitely not going to. You know what I'm saying? I, I do a smooth uh, shaggy it wasn't me. I, I'm yeah. still on that. Like, it, it, how, how do you stay scandal free, Gary? I, li- I live in Cincinnati in the middle of nowhere. Oh, right. I took a page out of Dave Chappelle's book. We just kind of fade out. Like, I Chappelle is that. about 30 minutes from me. Really? So, so do just, you have that yeah. land and everything, too? I ain't I got all the land in okay. that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, live, I live on a golf course. Are you oh. like him where he, like, walks through town, he knows everyone? Yeah. He's, like, yeah, that's how it is. That's awesome. And it's funny because, you know, I'm I'm, I'm very famous with black people. Yes. Yeah, yes, I know. I'm, uh, I'm somewhat famous with white people. <laughs> right, right, right. But it's funny if I go do to they Starbucks. Do you look like uh Yeah, yeah. Well, oh. now I get Tommy from Power oh. all the time. Oh. Hey, dude, Yo. let me tell you. Gary, I've been knowing your face for years. But I'm going to tell you straight up, when you say sat down and I've been knowing you for years bro oh I've been a fan God. for years when you sat oh down God. we did have dude in the neighborhood and when you sat down I immediately was like yo Damn. let me tell you <laughs> I didn't watch because I'm always on the road I didn't watch power the first two seasons now I'm all caught up I'm, I'm so in good. it right mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm at the airport and this brother comes up and he goes yo my man you a wild boy <laughs> Yeah. You a wild boy. I was like, I know. Yeah. He goes, he goes, Yo, you be killing them. And I thought he meant my joke. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I know. Yo, I be man. killing them. Yeah, he man. goes, when you hit that dude with your car and you shot that dude in the head, I go, I ain't hit nobody with my car. Right, man. I ain't right. shoot nobody in the head. I'm calling right. my wife like, is there a rumor out there? Yeah. I had no go idea. on my social media Yo, real quick. I thought, we said you killing them. I thought he meant my joke. So he took you in layers. It was like first base. Yeah. I was all about it too. I know. Yeah, you man. want a shot? Thank yes. You. Thank you, homie. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I appreciate that. You enjoy oh my, my work. Yeah. Right. I but, had no clue. But you know what? Watching. The next time somebody come up and hit you with one of those, you got to dirty his card. Yeah. Like when they come up like, Tommy, I love you, man. Like, you got to say, man, get the fuck away yeah. from me. <laughs> I don't even deny it anymore. Oh, really? I know True season five yeah. coming soon. It's about to get crazy. Wait, it's a twist. Yeah. Yeah. And what then I saying? tell him where Wait, I'm at. You know? yeah, I'm at. I'm at your theater this weekend. He's like this. For real? You tell jokes too? Yeah. Yeah. Come and see yeah. your brother. You Come know what I'm saying? Now. Come on, man. Come on. That has to be. And I think That's everyone has right. that one. You know what I'm saying? The celebrity like, kind of looks like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and well, then, I like where my career's going because when I first got in the business, everybody said I look like Biff from Back to the Future. Yep. Wow. And Damn, then, stop saying yep on every time you say something. Though, it's it's borderline yeah, yeah, yeah. rude. Yep. There's know, been three. But... Three in my career. It was Biff from Back to the Future, and lately it's been Tommy, and mm-hmm. then there was a Troy Aikman 
Wow. Period of my life oh when he was with God. the Cowboys, it was a Troy Aikman period. Damn. You yep. know what? It, you know what that is, man. That's racial profiling. Yes. I'm fine with it. Okay, all right. Because yeah. it, it gets better. It started Biff, right? Then it was right. Troy, right. and now thank God for Joseph. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Joseph. Hello. Really, he it's made me sexy. Yeah. He made me sexy. Like, yeah, boy. And that's the thing. I ain't got to work out that much no more because yeah. he's ripped. Ah. So I know what I look like. So, so you, you know get, do mean? you get people that ever say you look taller in person? Taller, and then they like, like I look heavier. Oh, really? You look a little heavier. Yeah, yeah. You've been good. I right, Tommy. I go, I'm not, I'm not Tommy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, those are powerful checks. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I know, Those right? are powerful checks. <laughs> and I, I want to jump right into it. You're a Bengals fan. Huge. Yeah, huge. Do you go to the games? When I can. You know, last year I tried to make my schedule around their schedule. Right. Wow. Like, right. I went to London. I booked a show in London because they, the, because. they played the Redskins over there. Damn. But it's a struggle right now, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about for Bengals or NFL, period. You know what I'm saying? Like Listen, you don't know if you take a knee stand up. Oh, the media yeah. will make you think it's disappearing. It's, oh, it's, man. it's not going anywhere. Hell and my nah. thing with, with the anthem protest is there's two things. If I see a guy kneeling for the anthem, that to me is a guy that, that's hurting. He's in pain. Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, there's something wrong. Let's try to help him. Let's try to figure it out. Right. And then also, I always could care less if you stand or kneel. To mm-hmm. me, the, the anthem, the beauty of it was the silence that's in a stadium or people singing along to it. As long as you're not interrupting that, yes. that's not a disrespect. If you're not with an air horn, like, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. If you ain't or talking or laughing, flag. don't let any don't interrupt anybody else from how they want to handle the yeah, anthem. Yeah, their moment. You're right. That's because I'm ex-military. Yes, sir. So my those two, three minutes of anthem's playing, I stand and I'm just thinking about my military Man, thank days. you for your service, brother. Yeah. You're, yeah, in, yeah. you're in, in the Navy? Navy, six years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I was in the honor guard for two. We did all the funerals and the oh the, the parades at the White House and stuff. So I've been to my fair share of funerals. So the right. anthem means a little, a lot different than what it's a different, it means a lot of people. Right. You know, because I've seen, I mean, I've handed people the flag. I've oh handed a, a mother and a, and a wife the flag before. What made you say, you know what, I'm going I'm going to the Navy. I'm going to go serve my country. Oh, well, that's that's a whole other story. I, I grew up in a trailer park, no. and I, that recruiter said, I sign your name on the dotted line. Uh, I can have you out here next week. I was like, like shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I signed my name, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like, I am on my way. I was Gary Shit for six years. <laughs> so where were you stationed at, Gary? D.C. for two years. Mm-hmm. I was in the honor guard. Gotcha. And then I went to the police academy, which was in San Antonio, Texas. That was only for three months, and then I was uh, I was an MP, a cop, a master arms they call it Navy Damn. in San Diego. For, where do for the, you for take four. that life turn to where you say I'm doing comedy, and and, and not you, there's a difference between being funny and saying I'm a comedian. Well, I know it sounds crazy, but my goal was always to be a comedian, right. but I didn't know how to do it. So I said, if I join the military, it'll get me out of this small town I live in. Gotcha. And wow. I said, if my first chance to get to California. That's when I'm gonna start doing stand up. And no lie, my first night in San Diego, I got in the phone book. I'm showing my age, and I looked up this play to, called The Comic Castle. Mm-hmm. And I called the guy and I go, "Hey man, you got open mic?" He said, "Let me check." Mm-hmm. And I, he goes, "I can't find it." I said, "What do you can't find it?" It was a comic book store. Right. Oh! I thought it was a comedy club. So he literally was looking up comic books for a superhero named Open Mike. Man, <laughs> like a gay superhero what, kind of. What, what was the name of the, of the place? It was called? a place called the Comic Castle in San Diego. Ah, that's and he said, "Hold on, yeah, let me check." Hold on for a second, play. Came back, can't find it. Yeah, man. <laughs> but he gave me the number to the comedy store <laughs> in La Jolla. That's a great story. Right. And then here's here's the twist. So I'm oh doing, I can't God. get up that much at the comedy store because <laughs> open mic night was Sunday nights mm. and I couldn't get up that much. Some black guys I was stationed with in the Navy was telling me about all these other comedies, these these black comedy spots in so-called Ooh. hood in San Diego and you can get up three, four times a week. So that's how I started doing all the, the black rooms, so and to speak. And people don't understand what San Diego really is too. Oh, you know what Southeast saying? is no joke. Yeah. People think, oh, I'm just rolling through San Diego. Oh, there's a zoo, the zoo, zoo, and there's a no, nah, no, there's a hood. Player. There's a zoo. There's a hood. Hello, Bam easy Mart, call. Southeast. Easy call. And it's crazy. Like I, I remember uh, Nick Cannon was in San Diego when I was yes. there, and he started. I remember he had a, a rap group called the Bomb Squad. Oh Lord, have it was mercy. him and another guy. And I remember I was I was his his manager at the time was um the manager of the rap group. I was dubbing a VHS tape, like a highlight tape, trying to send out the comedy clubs and stuff. <laughs> and he was at my house. Nick came, he goes, I think I'm gonna start doing stand up. I oh, said, You should. Yeah. And look where it took him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. I don't want to take the credit, but I I, I take no credit. Can it was you, on him. Can you imagine? But you I remember said, him. Nah, this ain't yeah. for you. Like, oh, okay, I remember I, guess the, I, I remember him saying, I'm gonna start doing stand up. And this this is a funny story. One of the first times Nick Cannon was on stage, Uh-oh. he went on stage and he did he did this other comics joke from Comic View. 
And I was like, yo, Nick, I said, that's so-and-so's joke from comedy. He goes, yeah, I saw it last night. I thought it was funny. No! <laughs> he didn't know. He, he was didn't, that green, though. He didn't though. take it on purpose. Yeah. It's like when his first time, and, he goes, yeah, I thought it was funny. I said, no, no, you got to do your own joke. And it's a naivete. <laughs> take. You know what I'm right? saying? It wasn't like a joke yeah. thief. It was like, oh, yeah, I saw it last night. I thought like, it was yeah, funny. Like, man, if it killed there, it'd <laughs> yeah. kill here, too. Yeah, it's killed. That's like, a good yeah, joke. Got, that's a good I joke. I got a great five right. minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No need for me to work out. I'm healthy. He wasn't being like a thief like that. When did you go from, what kind of work did you do, Gary Owen, before? comedy started paying the bills because I know it's got to be a road of course not you know what I saved up my money oh, when I was okay. in the military gotcha. and I, I remember I moved up here at the S10 pickup and it was paid off mm. and I got a little apartment and Maybe I had a roommate large. And that was it. Because I, I remember when I met my wife, my wife used to work for Shaq. Oh, okay. And remember when Shaq was with the Lakers, he had that record line, record label on Twizzle? Twizzle called Twizzle. Yes. My wife worked at Twizzle. I heard that. And one that. night Shaq brought his staff out to the comedy store and that's where I met my wife. And Damn. There's a funny story about our first date. First date, we went to this restaurant called Crustaceans oh, in Beverly yeah, I Hills. Oh, yeah, I know it well. I know it. I go. So go I'm ahead. circling it in my pickup. And my wife's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm looking for a parking spot. She goes, she goes, just valet. Oh. I said, oh, we can't do both. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We, can't, we can't valet and go out to eat. You're like, are you oh, hungry? You ain't dating Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, are, you're not hungry? Like, 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 be oh, patient. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I said, we valet, we watch people eat. Yes, yes. Or I find a spot, and then we can go have a nice dinner. There it is. Can't you do both. Like, oh, my God. That was God. back in the day. <laughs> hey, so, so when you go from being in a position where it's like, okay, I paid my bills, my truck was paid off, when do you know that I am a comedian now i am a professional comedian is it bet is it more television work is it seeing it in the clubs bt was the one that got me on the road as a headliner mm -hmm. like the comedy clubs and i'll, I'll say i was, was the doing audience ever brutal to you was now, it ever like some eminem eight mile where you come in and like boom <laughs> that's like, every, i ain't even I said think, nothing that's every comic when you start right like once people know you and they're paying money to see you right the heckling isn't like it was right when right. you first start in bars and open mics and stuff didn't people just did you do in. all that? I did all that. I did everything. I did bike. See, in San Diego, I was trying to, I was in the military, so I couldn't travel like other comics. Right. So I remember oh. there was a place called El Torito on Wednesdays was karaoke, oh. and I would just go up and tell jokes in the middle of karaoke. And then there was a nightclub called and Mr. And they say uh, those are brutal, though, when you break a flow. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like if it's at a strip club, and I like, enjoyed yeah, it. for the comedian. It, it, got, it cut my teeth, like heckling and everything else. And then there was a place called Mr. O's in San Diego, right? Mm. They would give me like 50 bucks, and I would go up on Friday nights in the middle of the nightclub and just start talking oh, and bagging. Yeah. yeah, if you get that, that was then it. that's brutal. Yeah. You and know what I'm saying? Because people don't want to hear that. It ain't like I was crushing every night. Right. But every now and then I get a gem, I get a joke, and I'm like, okay, I remember that. Like, that works there, you put it I'm in. good. How do you go from that to like, how does the BET, like how does that comic view start for you where, where you get booked on something like that? What happened was San Diego. Some great comedians came out of that, man. Yeah, comic yeah. view. I mean, the year I hosted. Yes. Uh, man, that's that's where that's the first time I saw Mike Epps. Mm. You know, Monique came on. I mean, we had a lot of. Did people heavy get upset with you? Did you hear anything when you became the host of BET? The White House comic back view? in the day. Yes. Yeah, but you know, some more pulled me aside when I got the job, and she said, "Gary, uh, I was the first woman host." She was like, "There's all there's people are always going to be mad when somebody else gets a job that they want." They go, you being white makes it easy for them to be upset. Now they right. don't they don't have to have a reason. Right. Because it, it in the end it was about being funny. And I just got the job. I wasn't gonna do say no. You know? No, 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 no. I wanna no, 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 no. I wanna stay struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Living the struggle is real. Like, right. Well, That's we got the said, How you gonna take that job? I go, dude, they weren't gonna give it to you no way. Hey man, <laughs> did you recently or did you did you throw somebody out of your show? Had them removed because they they called you an n word lover like in yeah, 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 from yeah. the audience yeah Naples Florida about about a month uh -huh. ago uh, I was at a comedy club but this isn't a person that paid to see yeah, you yes somebody paid paid to see me and, you know I, I don't know what what the deal was he was he was drunk mm -hmm. and he was talking the whole show and I let it go for about 25, 30 minutes and then I finally said and he was like Michael Blackson get your ass out of here right <laughs> <laughs> that was a white dude no I, I white dude yeah it. and and the only reason I kicked him out, I kicked him out politely because his table was being cool he was with six other people right and his I could tell it was his wife or girlfriend she was even trying to get him to be quiet but he wouldn't so finally I said you gotta go and my wife was there that night and he clearly saw her so on the way out the door he yells you effing Edward lover and I was oh. like I didn't think I heard it I was like did I hear that right and then when I saw my wife reach her hand in her purse I said baby don't pull that yeah, out baby, don't, ah. don't pull that out like, man. you ain't got a license yeah. in Florida to carry that <laughs> yeah. too many cameras yeah. <laughs> too many cameras in here man. but then he he went on Facebook and found me and started calling me more racial names on Facebook wow. so what I did I, I screenshot what he sent me 
posted on Instagram. Oh. And then he messed up because people saw his name. Yep. They went to his Facebook page. This dude had his work, his his email, everything. So they oh, called his job. Man. Long story short, he got fired. <gasps> wow. Wife got fired. She wow. worked at the same place. And then uh and then he Kids said kicked out of school. Did we go that far? Oh, okay. <laughs> he said right. he has to move now. He's I have to move. I don't feel safe in this oh, neighborhood. And I go, your mouth. Mm-hmm. He said his response when they interviewed him, he said, I was drunk. I'm not a racist. And my response to him was, a drunken tongue speaks a sober mind. Yep. So that's been ingrained in you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man. you on Facebook. Say, well, yeah. You, you then took he went it to, to that find level. you. Yeah, he right. went to continue. He, he got to the house. Oh, it was still right. upset. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So it happens. And you know, it's a trip. Usually when something like that happens, you know, more so social media wise, you never get a chance to get that person. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and not that I celebrate it, but but I do kind of toast that he lost his job, his wife lost yeah. his job. Yeah. And and he does feel a little unsafe at the crib. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what? He earned that. How many times and I, I can't even say in your life, do you always get the S on the back of your name? Just like, about every day. Get, like, well, dude. there's more famous there's Jesse Owens. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Terrell Owens. Right, there's more right. famous Owens than <laughs> Owen. Right, yeah, so Gary Owen. No but S. you get the you get the S quite a bit. So Constantly. Do do you still correct or do you just like ah? Every now and then I'll go on Twitter and have fun with it. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just search Gary Owens and it'll be all me. Yeah. <laughs> like Owen no S. Like, you famous in all the names. Right. 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 Now you're gonna be out here in L. A. Man. Well, our Ontario Improv. Mm-hmm. And you do you stay on the road, Gary? Yeah, I have to call my agent for weekends off. I heard. If I want that. something off. I have to. I have to ask for it. But I could. I could work all fifty-two weekends. And Ontario Improv is such a great spot. Man, man, I tell people that's that's a fake comedy club because don't think you that funny because they laugh so hard. There's oh. some comedy clubs that have that rep. Like no matter what you say, they laugh. <laughs> Ontario's one of them. I was like this. Don't don't get on Twitter and say I ripped at the Ontario Improv. Everybody rips it's at the Ontario Improv. Let me tell Improv. you. Let me it's tell one of the you. best clubs. I just did two comedy shows there. Like, I got this thing called Funny Mother Fruckers. And we presented comedians. And it's crazy that you said that because I was thinking my night was amazing. It, 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 it's, the, it's the people there, though. They love to laugh. They it's don't not hire a like catering. Your comedy no, show. It, I'm not, sure it wasn't that good. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 big, who's coming out for you? Yeah. For real. You yeah. know what it I'm doesn't matter. They, like, they laugh. The energy is crazy. There's, and it's not like a casting company that they put no, in there. No. Nah. <laughs> it's like that. Actors. Like, comics know. We know those comedy clubs that just, for some reason, Gary, it's, just it's crazy great that you said that because time. I thought, I was like, dude, it was crazy in there. Mm-hmm. So now they want to book us at other ones. We're going to get yeah. to. To Arizona, they're gonna be like, uh, wow, hey. wow, we nailed this. <laughs> and then in my head, I'm gonna go back. Gary said, Gary yep. said, oh yeah, now, Ontario, so, so the man, Ontario the Improv that's from the uh, October 19th through the, the 22nd. 22nd, yeah. And you stay on the road. Do you, do you, are you concerned or do you have that no camera policy? Like, because it's not like. With comedians, you have a hit record, and people want to hear the hit record yeah, all we the can't time. Do that. So, do you tell people? Do you do a, a no cell phone or they they do the announcement before I get on stage? But right. sometimes you, you catch them. you look out and you see. There's me no anyway. foolproof. There's no foolproof. But I, I'm always amazed when people are so bold with it. Oh yeah, they're like, trying to hide it in the yeah, front. Got the Big flash iPad. on and everything. Yeah, you know, I'm like <laughs> really? And they tell you, oh Gary over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the red carpet. Gary over here. Yeah. Over here to the right. Over here for to the sale left. the next night at the mall. <laughs> Man. So movie wise, are you working on anything right now? Uh, we're actually we're my my last comedy special just came out a couple Go weeks ago now. on Showtime. That's called I Got My Associates, but and that's on on demand. What Showtime does that mean? I got my associates. It was like every night I came home off the road. When I get home, when I get back to my hotel, I'm watching MSNBC Lock Up Raw oh. or First Forty Eight. Everybody going to for pro got their associates, yeah. and that is the key to getting out of prison. <laughs> you got to have that associates. Let and, you know you ain't waste your time. And that's with like what the homies or what? everybody. Everybody I see when they've been in, going up for the pro board, yeah, but I got my associates. Though. Right, right. So, <laughs> I'm going to be all right. In, sir, you've been in prison for 35 years. Well, yeah, but I got my associates. Yeah, I got so, That's a two year degree. So. Yeah, yeah, I bet yeah. you OJ got his associates. That's why he's getting out. Yeah, I yeah. bet you. OJ about to, wow. you, you guys know OJ about to touch turf. <laughs> yeah, yes, man. You know where he's Monday. going, I heard? Word. Naples. Same place I just kicked that dude out. Oh, oh really? That's though. the rumor. Uh oh. Naples is That's, really pretty, though. And really white. Yeah, it is. OJ's going to love it. And oh, yeah. He's going to be like, look at all these white women. Right. Uh, oh, Ooh, stop it. Look at her throat. Right. <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> the juice is back. Oh, he's back. 
Wait, that's been a, is you tell me I can get on mine by now? <laughs> yeah. I ain't got to go to the <laughs> store. This is crazy. Hell yeah. You yeah. uh, <laughs> going to come home to a sharpening stone? Uh, oh, my <laughs> yeah. God, you guys. The, the juice is back. Okay, all righty. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I, I, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't know. All righty. Here we are. We're back. Yeah. Gary, Gary, do you have kids? Yeah, I got three. Oh, what's their ages? Uh, 26. Stop it. 16 and Stop 15. It. So yeah. your kids, they know what you do. They know that yeah. dad is famous. Dad is a comedian. Yeah. He's a movie well, we, star. Well, we had the reality show last year on BET. Yeah, man. So that was. Would like, you do that uh, again? Are y'all doing? No, nah, you know BET had a whole overhaul at the top of the network. Oh. So when that happens, you know, the new regime comes in and they bring in all the new shows and kind of let the old ones go. So we, it was fun. We had one season. You, you listen, then you get a TV show, and I've been on numerous TV shows. You get on one, you're eventually gonna get canceled. Right? Yeah, could yeah, be yeah. The first yeah. season could be the fifteenth. Yeah. We just having to be the first and, season. And you know, <laughs> and, but it's also not good, but it doesn't stop your grind. No, you know no, we're I'm out saying? pitching this. We're pitching right now, pitching a new show. So, you know, but I ain't going to lie, man. When your show gets canceled, it hurts. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. one of these guys be like, I'm just going to keep moving. It ain't going to stop me. Nah. Yeah. Nah, it hurts. Was I turned to Will Smith when yeah, his dad right. left. Right. Right. You know what I mean? That episode. You know what I mean? When he's like, nah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in BT's office. Nah, yeah. fine. It's nah. fine. Mm-hmm. I'm, no, no. Did the kids nah. take it, it okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, everybody's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but when your voice gets a little octave higher, yeah. that's when you're like, no, I'm good. No, no. It's not your fault, Gary. Yeah, My yeah, manager yeah. was sitting there. It's fine. I was funny before them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was a I was, I was on order, TV man. before them. It was a pecking order, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, hey, man, this show don't make me. Yeah, this yeah. show don't make me. I ain't gonna lie, it hurt, man. But you know what? <laughs> let me call my wife, though. Y'all don't call her. You know yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me call her and break the news to her. <laughs> Is it different letting those cameras in on, on you like that, though? You know, we had a we had a professional group. We had a uh, Ben Murray who does the Kardashian oh, yeah. show and oh, yeah. start the Real World. Mm-hmm. So they they literally was coming off the Kardashians to us last year. Oh, so they was like, "Yo, this is crazy. This is completely different." Because we're right, like right. new, and and it's funny because you know the whole it, it is true. Don't speak on, until you're spoken to the camera guys. Uh huh. And I at first I thought that's ridiculous, but then I found out why. Because I, I started speaking to a lot of people, and there was one guy in particular that just would talk way too much. And I was like, I was like guy, I, I need a break. Like, don't, so they're saying, like, don't wow. talk to the camera guys? Or they, the crew tell the, they tell the crew, don't you know, talk. Don't, don't, don't speak. And I, at first, I was like, that's crazy to me. But right. then I got it, because there was one guy I started talking to. Ah. It was like every time I walk in the kitchen, Gary. And he yeah. would tell me about something I could care less about. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> right. Hey, yeah. hey, watch this. Watch yeah. this. My cousin made this yeah. video. Look I'm like, I don't Have you don't seen this care. new video of the cats? Right. <laughs> oh my. And then you're in your house too. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. my God, the layer. It, that for you know, it was cool. It is like you got 30 extra cousins, mm-hmm. and that's what they do. That's why I said they came with the Kardashians. They do this, so they knew what they was doing. Mm-hmm. So they would they would never cross the boundaries. But man, they can they can. I don't want to say mind. They mind fuck you mm-hmm. basically because my wife is like they're not gonna be in our bedroom. They was in our bedroom every day. Yeah, yeah. Wow. She's like they ain't gonna be in my closet. But they was in my what? wife's closet. Gary, you hear people say, "Oh, it's kind of like you just forget the cameras are there, or you drop no, you your don't guard. forget. You don't forget, but it's like they but got they got becomes- some Tony Robbins like people yeah. that'll get in your head <laughs> yeah. like this oh. is gonna be good for people. This is going to help people. And then you're like, oh, yeah. okay. This, this, okay. This shows your human side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get in your head like, okay, okay let's right, do it yeah. then. <laughs> it's going to save lives. <laughs> okay. You know, so you, want me, you want me to drown my son and then revive him. <laughs> right. <in CPR? laughs> let's do it. And guess what, Gary? You're the hero. <laughs> right, right. You're the hero. Okay. But I will say, nothing, if anything comes out of your mouth, it's on you. They're not forcing you to do anything. Really? So when people are like, no, I, I wish I wouldn't have said that. Right, I go, that's right. your fault. What about when people say it's all in the editing? Like, no, but you no, said you it. No, you said it. Unless it's like yeah. one of those Barack videos where it's like a rap song. Yeah. And they, if I could, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I, I always say that. we. I did my run on reality TV and, I, you know, there's nothing I said that I, I would. Would you do like it I again? I would. Okay, I would. okay. So you had a good I would. experience. Yeah, it wasn't like we was on like. Loving hip hop, right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah. I think they're kind of looking for the uh-huh. drama, and you don't see you guys throwing water in each other's face. You know, gotta take your earrings off, Vaseline your no, face. I did, up. I did that early in the relationship. I found out I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> I was peeping this out. You said that Kevin Hart owe you two thousand dollars. Still owes me two G. Still owes you, mm-hmm. and Kevin got money too, man. Yep. Did you really hit him up during all this? Yep. Oh. The day after, <laughs> like yep. you knew you what was going down. Well, here's the thing, comedians. Here's what they're gonna get. They're do, gonna they, ex- do they expect that? Like, come on. I don't know what they expect it, but. I think they're getting the, uh, you know, they're getting the sympathy text, and then they're right, going to get right. the angry text gotcha, from some people. Gotcha. I figure you, 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 you kind of like 
give some levity to the situation. Like, oh, yeah, since you're getting extorted, don't forget you still owe me $2,000. Uh, there it is. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like By the way. Can you, can you put that on top of that, yeah. please? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> but he right. does. We Every four years, we ever ever since I've known him, we bet on the Bengals-Eagles uh, game, the football mm. game. And luckily, the Bengals have been beating the Eagles. Yeah. Like, and we, uh, the money always gets higher uh, because at first it might have been 10 bucks. Right. And then when they played five years ago, it was 1000 and I won. And he made me wait a year. We was on the set of Think Like a Man 2. And he, <laughs> last day of shooting, he paid me. Yeah, they, then he gave me my money. money. I go, really? Last day? Like, man. <laughs> I was getting on the plane with this. And then like, so it's every four years? Is that the cycle of Yeah, of that's when how the meet? Bengals Eagles play. And then so last year they played. And I called us. You want to bet? And I said, well, let's amp it up. We're both doing better in life. Hello. We just said, all right, we'll just do 2K. Fun, fun money. It wouldn't make a big deal. Right, you know? right. Don't have to explain but it I'm to still, your wife. I'm still waiting on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've probably seen him 10 times since then. I'm like, okay. But every time I see him, I like hint, hint about it, you know? Like his movie came out, I go, hey, you think it's going to be on 2,000 screens? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they say 2,000, zero, right. zero. Like. Right. Man, I can't believe Narcos was making 2,000 <laughs> kilos of coke <laughs> every day. Man, well, 2,000 is the magic <laughs> number. Do you have friends in the business or do you kind of just go and disappear? I got, that's the, and some of it I will say is my fault. I'm not good at keeping in touch because mm-hmm. I lose track of people after you get done working with them. It's an mm-hmm. odd it's an odd feeling. Right. You're, you'll be on set with somebody for months and then it's a wrap. What, the weird thing about movies is the day you wrap, everybody claps. They always yeah. be like, all right, that's a wrap on yeah. Gary go Owen. I go, I'm unemployed. Yeah. Why are we, <laughs> we should clap on the first day of a movie, yeah. not the last. We're all here. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. leaving. Hello. No more checks. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's and, it. And my parts are so small, it's yeah. like that day. <laughs> hey, hey, big boy's here, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then, all right, action big boy, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, rap on big boy. Rap on big boy. Right. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know your part is small when they tell you to bring your own wardrobe. Yeah. That's oh, me. Oh, wow, yeah. Like, yeah, so what should I wear? I've done those movies. Just, yeah, you know, know like, that's me all day. Just yeah. yeah, that shirt that you're wearing, just bring that. Like, yeah, oh, okay. Solid colors. Yeah, just yeah, solid yeah. Colors. My my thing is always at the end of the movie, it's like a uh, big boy as himself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every movie, Gary, please check out anything I've done yeah. is big boy. Big boy as, as himself. himself. You know nice. what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Nice. Find out my work. No, yeah. Gary, thank Good you work. for coming into yeah, the yeah. neighborhood, man. I appreciate it, guys. It is a pleasure, bro. Awesome. I, I yeah. see exactly why that staying power is there and why there is no expiration date mm-hmm. on you, bro. Nice. Continue I appreciate with it. your success, man. Take care of the queen, the family, and everything. I'm going to call you. I want you. I don't know if you're still doing Luther Lufe. Yes. yes. I got a couple businesses I'd like you to follow. Yes. <laughs> it's a phone that, bomb. That's easy as but one, will, two, three. I will say, you the one that started that. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of people after you. Yeah, but man. When I when I lived out here, like the the early two thousands, two thousand one, man. Oh man. man, you was killing it with the man, Luther Lufe. You stop that, man. And then I, I hear other people doing. I'm like, wonder where they got that from. Yeah, you know. And you know? I wasn't the first to pick up a phone and clown, but phone taps oh, that, that angle. Oh my god. You know that angle. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. argue with you. I'm not man, with you. you got that on me. I'm not gonna yeah. argue with him. Hey, <laughs> what I hey, I'm trying to come back one day. I'm trying to feed the ego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like I heard, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, they just said just go in there, compliment him. Yeah, you compliment big boy and yeah. everything. And then yeah. j- usually it's uh, man, you look good, or man, you kept yeah. that weight off. That's what. Yeah. That's I what think they, you always got that. Exactly. That's why I didn't and go And I there. love how you waited to the end. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a professional right there. Gary Owens. No S. Yeah, no. Now Gary Owen in the neighborhood. Big boy neighborhood.